to make an old fashioned cocktail using the Rod and Hammer's whiskey. Um, and then we're going to smoke it with the Smoky Crew cocktail smoker kit. This cute little card comes with your whiskey bottle. Uh, when I bought it at Costco, my favorite store, um, it was on there, you know, it caught my attention. I took a look at it. It actually has some, some pretty cool information on here. Um, tells you a little bit about the notes, um, what you're smelling. So it's telling you vanilla, caramel, oak, taste, warm, high profile, finish, smoky corn sweetness, proof 112 and age two years. Uh, and inside as well, it has a old fashioned recipe by R&H, Rod and Hammer, calls for 2.5 ounces of your cask bourbon, one teaspoon of brown sugar, two dashes of your orange bitters, and orange peel, and some maraschino cherry. I only have the Luxardo cherries. They're, they're just the best, uh, personally. I, I love the way they taste. I love the flavor um, of the uh, whiskey that soaks into the cherry. You know, you're drinking your old fashioned and then at the end you have that cherry that's been just soaking up all that whiskey flavor and take a bite into it. And just, oh, it's like, you know, it's, it's a cherry on top. <laughs> okay, so directions. Muddle your sugar, bitters, and orange peel in a mixing glass. I actually like to express some of the oil from the orange peel so you can you know, either give it a little squeeze, rub it around the edges of your glass. It really helps with uh, the smell. We'll drop that in there. All right, now we're gonna add a couple dashes of your bitters. There we go. Already smells delicious. All right, so let's mix this up. All right, now we're gonna do a whiskey. Next, stir and strain into rocks glass over a large ice cube. Garnish with orange twist and cherry. All right, so we're gonna get our ice. Add our fashion cocktail. Beautiful, it's like, it's like the orange knew exactly where to go. <laughs> okay. And personally, like, you know, just a tip here. Actually, I'll give you two tips. Tip number one, if you wanna have more than one cherry, go right ahead. Tip number two, if you wanna get a little bit of that syrup from the cherry, oh, yeah. So let's go ahead and give this first a try. Oh, just the orange is just. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's really good. Really like uh, Rotten Hammer's whiskey. It's delicious. Okay, now the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and open up our kit. So the kit comes with four different types of wood chips. You got apple, cherry, pecan, and oak. It comes with a brush to clean out the filter when needed. 
little spoon to serve the wood chips. Torch. And of course the smoke topper and a filter to help protect uh, the smoker top itself as well as prevent any wood chips from falling into the drink. So you don't need very much, just a small spoon bowl. Get your lighter going. See as it fills it up. You don't need very much, just a few seconds. I like to let it sit on there 10 seconds or so. I don't want the smoke to overpower the drink. What I really want it to do is elevate it, bring out that, that oaky smoke flavor that it already has. And just, uh, you know, it makes it really exciting on the palate. And it's really fun to just play with and enjoy and drink. It smells amazing. Mm. Oh yeah, it's just really brings out the flavors in the whiskey. Oh, uh, oh smells just really amazing. Oh, uh, it just takes the drink up to a whole nother level. Uh, and really, uh, yeah, makes it makes it really delicious. You don't really need to smoke it for that long. You also don't need to let the smoke sit on it for very long. You just kind of want to just want to kiss it, right, with some flavor. You don't want to overpower the whiskey. You don't want to overpower the old fashioned or the orange. You want it all to kind of work together in harmony, and uh, that way you can appreciate all of the all of the notes and uh, all the different flavors in an old fashion. Ah, oh, well thank you very much for tuning in.